Hey folks, Jonathan here. Uh, getting back on this dimming uh, water pump, changed it into a steam engine. Here is a piece of, uh, I believe this is about inch and a quarter, something like that, inch and a quarter uh, brass. Uh, could be bronze, but uh, we're going to try to use this for our steam valve. Uh, hoping for something a little bit bigger diameter, but we're going to split this down the middle. I'm going to do this on the bandsaw. And I'm not going to show it because I. Uh, just in case I cut my fingers off, that way you don't have to wash that. But uh, we are going to uh, split that and see if we can't hopefully make two valves out of that. Show you more. Alright folks, I figured I'd go ahead and show you anyway, but uh put my fence on, I split it halfway, and uh, got the camera mounted on the table here at the corner, so hopefully it won't shake too bad, but I'm going to use my old, uh, you like my hammer there, that's a, a lead hammer that's been... Uh, Probably, uh, probably about wore out, but use it to push it through, and then I'll use fingers on this side to hold it in. That way, I don't cut myself too bad. But hopefully, we can split this down the center, and and we'll see how it works out. to just about equal pretty close we can uh, I'm sure we can machine that out but hopefully we're gonna have enough there for for our slide valve a uh, little smaller than what I wanted to use but you know we'll we'll try to work with them we'll see what happens all right show you more later okay folks we've got our top plate made and drilled and I gotta tap the the base down here for it, but uh, let me show you something else here. Our pieces that we cut. I was hoping they was gonna be long enough, but I'll show you on this side. Uh, you can see. I mean, they cover fine, but when it comes up, I'll actually do it from the other end here. Okay, as you can see, this one is being uncovered right now. And the back side, don't know if you can see it or not. You can see a little light through there. It's not uh, not totally covered yet. And that's what I don't want. I want this one to be, the back to be fully covered before the front begins to uh, uncover. So what I'm getting down to is this is just a little bit too short. Uh, not a big deal. We'll, hunt up some other stuff this was just old scrap but uh, just trying to keep from buying anything but we'll find something different but we've got our top drilled and all. I'm going to go ahead and mark the holes and uh, tap them into here that way we can uh, at least bolt our top down and uh, you know we really need to get them before we can start on any of the linkage because we've got to know a length but you know if I run into having to wait on them pieces I'll go ahead and do the bottom and you know fill it full of uh, full of lead get that finished up and uh, moving along uh, we'll eventually have it show you more later
Okay, folks, I am putting the top on and uh, drilled and tapped them. I uh, wanted to run studs because, you know, the to me the, the bolts just don't look right on it. You know, being an old one, and I may use square nuts, but uh, didn't get this hole deep enough. And these studs are just grade 5, and I messed around and broke one off. So uh, we're going to try to hopefully get it out here. And I know it's in there tight, but uh, we'll try to weld it up and, and get it out. And I'll let you see how, I'd, how I'm going to do it here. Okay, so what we got here is a quarter inch bolt broke off, and as you can see, it's uh, it's out a little bit, but it's not out enough to get a, you know anything on it, vice grips or anything. So we're going to put this nut on it, and uh, or nut, I'm sorry, we'll put this flat washer on it. We're going to weld that washer on there. A lot of times on bigger bolts, I don't even use a flat washer, but what I want to do here is get a good get it good and hot, get a good weld on it, and then put this three eighths nut over it and weld the inside of that and hopefully it'll grab it enough to pull it out and like I said it is, it's bottomed out I didn't get my hole tap deep enough so you know and it tapers on the end of them taps it wasn't a bottom tap so it's pretty darn tight but we're going to give it a try either way and uh, just see what happens I'll go ahead and weld it up and then I'll, I'll show you when I'm done okay there you, there you can see I've got the washer welded on now I'm going to set the nut up there and weld it on Okay, we got her welded on. You can see she's good and red. I don't want to do it too soon, but I don't want to wait until it cools off either. So we'll work it back and forth a little bit. Let me get my foot over here on it so I can still hold the camera. You just want to work it back and forth a little bit. Of course, I didn't get the nut right there in the center, but it really don't, don't matter that much. Looks like we might have got it. It's getting easy now. And I believe we've got it. Of course, I don't want to grab it, but but there you go. And that's your best way of getting a, a broken bolt or stud out. And uh, so now we can go ahead and get the other one in this, and uh, we'll let her cool down and finish tapping it, and we'll get this top done. Okay folks, we got our stud back in and uh, got the top on it. This is half inch. Uh, you'll see there's an extra hole there, but that's there because this is uh, this was just a piece of scrap. But uh, I've got, still got to go around it and you know round everything off to, to the same radius as this. And uh, we'll get all that straightened out. And I was hoping to get them slide valves or the valves done tonight, but didn't do it. I've got a few square nuts on it. I've got a few uh, regular hex nuts on it and I just looking at it to see which I like best but uh, probably when it's all painted up and stuff but I like the, the square nuts just because it's more period anyway and uh, as you know it'll be paint, you know all painted up and everything when we're done so but uh, we'll get back on it I'm gonna see if I can find it, get another piece of uh, bronze for the uh, slide valves and and uh, once we get them done we can go wide open on our linkage and Fill the bottom pole, and uh, I know this is kind of short, but we're back on it anyway. Uh, until next time, bye.